and welcome back to yet another chilled out, relaxed video from the Cotswolds of all places. I don't know what it is, just something about the Cotswolds makes it seem so peaceful, relaxing and just zen to uh, explore. So in this video we have some sculptures, arboretums, gorgeous villages, towers and we're even going to go and see some deer as well. So let's begin in this gorgeous place that we are right now. Uh, this is Batsford Arboretum. So the story of Batsford Arboretum begins in 1886 when it was inherited by Algernon Bertram Freeman Mitford, that's a <laughs> which long is uh, name. yeah. I wish my name was that long. That would be great. No. no, no, that's fine. Throughout the 1860s, he worked in Japan, Russia, and China, and this is how he became interested with Oriental landscapes, which was the inspiration for this arboretum. He built one of the biggest bamboo collections at the time. More bamboo, are you? Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, if you touch it, it feels like plastic. It does? Yeah. Yeah. What do you know? Yeah. Raspies, raspies. Is it? Well, I can it looks like. <laughs> but they look smaller than uh, mm. So I don't think they are. Oh, maybe it they is, look, I don't know. They look, they look like. They look like raspberries, that is true. <laughs> I have taken a picture of it. It's a wineberry. Wineberry? Oh, it's a Japanese wineberry. These are my favorite trees. Why? Redwoods. Yo. Why? I didn't ask what they are, I asked why. <laughs> They're just yeah. massive, that's why I like them. These yeah, They're humongous. Yeah. It's me. What a good view. With the viewing point. Yes. type of things to say to summarize our visit it's nice it has stuff that you don't see every day definitely nice worth a visit yeah. it's also in a really great location being where it is pretty much central in the sort of north side of the Cotswolds so um, yeah very close to Broadway which is actually where we're gonna go next which is often described as the jewel of the Cotswolds so well, let's go right. Ellie which way are we going Nice view, eh, Ellie? Yeah, it's always nice up here. We've been here before. So here we are now at Broadway Tower. If you uh, have watched my other video from the Cotswolds, you may recognize this. In that video, I saw how far I could walk in one day. Uh, I ended up walking over 21 miles, something insane like that, walking for about 10 hours straight. Uh, so it's really nice to see this again, but obviously this time not rushing past it and actually being able to see it properly. So now we're walking down on this uh, nice little field to see a viewing point for Broadway. Because the problem with Broadway Tower is uh, that the view from the tower itself, the view is actually a little bit blocked off and obscured by these trees. So. We know a little, uh, that I found on my epic Cotswold walk. Yeah. Know a little special viewpoint that gives you an even better view um, than Broadway Tower itself, in my opinion. go to the tower or you can get views as good as there from here yeah that's what I was saying I think it's good there. if you like right so you can do this two ways you do it from the bottom of the village and go up here and then have a stop here and then go all the way to the tower just to see the tower or you can park up the tower and then do it in reverse it depends it's up to you so yeah right now we're just doing a short little circular walk that probably takes around 15 minutes from Broadway Tower very nice and scenic walk that yeah I would recommend to anyone <laughs> well, it takes 
music. Come to the camera. Oh, I'm, I'm talking to the camera. I have the camera on me. We are in a field. Look, and there's some, some apple trees here. Crab apples we've discovered they are cold. And we're going back to Broadway Tower. The reason I'm filming is because uh, we're on TikTok now. Well, I am on TikTok, not Alex. That's where you can follow us. And yeah. Ada Travers, 11 Ada Travers. followers, 11 yeah. whole followers. Yeah, I'm just posting random stuff we're doing, some behind the scenes and some more travel places that are not yet on Alex's channel. So uh, if you just want a few seconds of entertainment, you can get on there and get some travel ideas. So give us a follow. <laughs> So with that exploration of Broadway Tower complete, we are going to actually head a little bit north out of the Cotswolds for our final location of this little Cotswolds series. Well, very mini series, is in two episodes yeah. that we've done. We're going to head a little bit north because there's something very interesting that we're going to see. And that is a National Trust location of Chalcote Park, which is home to many, many deer. So I'm hoping to get some really great footage. Yes, here we are now, around a 30 minute drive north of Broadway Tower, and this is Chalcote Park. So here we are at the uh, big house, very big house here at Chalcote. So this house was initially built in 1558 by Sir Thomas Lucy. This land had long been owned by the Lucy family who actually originated uh, from Normandy, France and arrived in England in 1066. So this house has been modified many times over the years. So most of what we can see today dates back to around 1883. And fun fact, Queen Elizabeth I once stayed here wow. for a couple of nights. Fun, fun. Believe that? So it must be fancy, I suppose. Queen Elizabeth I herself spent no. two nights in here. Do you even know which one that is? It's one of them. So there are so many interesting walking routes around here. In fact, Charcot Park covers around 280 acres. So yeah, you can walk to your heart's content here. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. Also, at Charcoal Park, there's lots of deer around and there is some footage coming up. Yes, I have bought my telephoto lens today to so hopefully get some really interesting footage of these deer. So, yeah, enjoy some of that now. Is that a yeah. snack? Yeah. It's got it stuck in its horn now. No. <laughs> oh, it's free. Mistakes were made there. And so with that, that summarizes this video. I really hope you enjoyed our exploration of half the Cotswolds and uh, half slightly north of the Cotswolds, but I just really wanted to see this place and uh, felt like it would be really great to film. So if you want to see more from the Cotswolds, be sure to check out my previous video in which we visited uh, a very interesting location in the Cotswolds called Snows Hill Manor, as well as more really beautiful and scenic places. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one and goodbye. <laughs>